Tonight we're going to read a Dr. Seuss book. Is that the one we're going to read? Dr. Susie Seuss. Gracie's Dr. Seussy Seuss. Okay. Let me see. Show me which one you want me to read. You want me to read the fish? Yeah. Have you read the fish yet? Okay. Let's get to going here. Now, let me read to you, my little dear. Mm. Everybody's wondering, I still got my Marine Corps cam, or my Green Corps. That's <laughs> what, don't I? But they're comfy, I can't help it. Okay, this is called The Bipolar Sea and Other Lost Stories by Dr. Seuss. So is this the fish one? So now we'll go in here and we'll find out which one the fish one is. It's, I read it to you before, we'll read it again, okay? Gustav the Goldfish, page 30. Okay, can you remember that? Which page am I going to? 30. Okay. Alright. This is called Gustav the Goldfish. So, here we are. The man who sold Gustav the Goldfish to us had warned us, take care. When you feed this small cuss, just feed him a spot. If you feed him a lot, then something might happen. It's hard to say what. That's what the man said, so I tried to take care. Just to feed Gus a pinch, but it never seemed fair. Because he always looks sad when he gulped down the stuff, and his eyes seemed to tell me, this isn't enough. Then he'd always blow bubbles as much as to say, Come on, don't be stingy. I'm hungry today. See, does he look like he's wanting more food? And he's only giving a one little drop of that a day. Okay? Gus had to have food. Gus had to have food. Not a spot, but a lot. No matter what happened, I didn't care what. So finally one day, poor old Gus looked so thin, I took the whole box. And I dumped it all in. Uh-oh. But the second I did, I saw I'd done wrong. The fish food, I guess, must be terribly strong. The second Gus ate it, he grew twice as long. He grew twice as thick, he grew twice as wide. Too big for his fishbowl, his tail was outside. Uh-oh. He was bursting the glass, he was big as a trout. I grabbed for a ro the rose bowl. I yanked that, the rose out, my mother's best bowl, but I spilled Gustav in it. But what was the use, cause the very next minute, Gustav was bigger, as big as, the, as a shad. As he looked through the glass and he looked mighty mad. And he splashed and he thrashed and the burped and he blew, as much as to tell me, I blame this on you. This is your fault, cause you fed me a lot. Get me out of here quick! Get me out of this spot! See, is he filling up the vases and stuff? To the back of the house, to the kitchen I ran. I need more water, I filled up a pan. I poured Gustav in it as fast as I could. But he kept right on growing. It did him no good. I poured him from pot into pot after pot. But the faster I poured him, the bigger he got. Then I ran out of pots. But poor Gustav still grew. Oh, it's awful what one box of fish food can do. Look how big he's getting. He's bigger than him. Water, more water. He'll die in the air. I race from the kitchen up the hall stair. Upstairs to the bathroom and oh, what a climb. Because the fish in my arms grew and grew all the time. Each step he kept groaning and rolling his eyes. When I got to the top, he was... Halibut size. Now, halibut's a big fish, okay? He was almost too big for a fellow to lug, but I got to the bath that I put in the plug, and I turned on the cold water faucet full blast. Gustav, I panted, you're safe for now at last. Gustav, I panted, this tub out of dew, it holds my whole family, it ought to hold you. Look how big he is. Look how small he is in the bathtub. But it didn't hold Gustav, it kept right on growing, and soon the whole bathtub was full, overflowing. 
and my parents I knew would be very upset because the water was making the bathroom quite wet. It was up past my ankles, my knees, past my waist, and I saw a father shaving brush, toothbrush and paste, bobbing and round in the ocean. But what could I do because Gustav, my goldfish, still grew and he grew. He was big as a dolphin, a porpoise, a seal. Oh, why did I ever feed Gustav that meal? Just because I was careless and I fed him a lot. I would drown in this bathroom as likely as not. Then bang with a crash and a terrible roar and splintering smash we burst right through the door and Gustav and I shot out into the halls and back down the stairs like Niagara Falls. Then the first thing I knew we were down in the cellar and Gustav my fish was a gigantic feller. Too wild and too dangerous to handle alone. I needed some help, so I rushed to the phone and quick dialed the number of Miss Van Bus, the man who stole Ghost off the Goldfish to us. Come over, please, mister. He's big as a whale. He's banging the furnace to bits with his tail. Is he going to get a new one? Look how big he is. Is he going to get a new one? Just got to sit here and listen. Hold on. I knew, sighed the man, this would happen one day, and he hung up the phone and he came right away, with a lot of strange bottles tucked into his vest, and a thing on his back like a medicine chest. He took it down cellar and worked under water, on Gustav for more than an hour and a quarter. What he did, I don't know, but he must have been wise, because he shrank Gustav back to his regular size. See all the bottles he's got on him? And he said as he handed me my fish back to me, It was mighty hard work for it, but this time it's free. If it happens again, I will char shall charge a big fee. So next time take care, and he stalked through the door. Since then I fed Gustav so much and no more. Since then I have not fed him more than a spot, because something might happen, and now I know what. The end. What do you think? Should I read Tad and Todd to you? Want me to read Tad and Todd? Do you want me to or yes or no? I'm just okay, well, if you fall asleep here, I'm going to find out. There. Hold on. I'll write it right there. I'll read it to you. But if you fall asleep, I want to give you a hug and kiss and everything, okay?